the guy almost followed us in. He like slowed down as we like pulled in and then decided to keep going, but then pulled into the next parking lot. <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and today I'm going to tell you guys the story of when I got followed in an Uber. So while this is a scary story with Uber, I've had many, many great experiences with Uber. I think Uber is amazing. I've used it in many states, California, New York City, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, all over the place. I've used it when I'm on trips, whenever I need to ride home, whatever the deal is, I use Uber. I love it. It's great. This is just one experience and it has nothing to do with Uber at all. It just has to do with a creepy person. So let's just get right into it. So a couple months ago in, when did I go? November, I went to visit my friend Natalie in Georgia. I met her on my college program, my Disney college program. I have some videos that I'll link down below about my college program. Natalie was one of my roommates. I go visit her a couple times a year. I just love her, miss you, love you. But anyway, I was visiting her. She goes to University of Georgia, Athens, and we decided to go to Athens Bagel on my last day there for breakfast. So it was. A super rainy day and we finished our breakfast and we wanted to ride home so we didn't have to walk in the rain and so we called an uber my app was telling me that the driver was seven minutes away but it kept taking longer and longer like it showed that more time was added and then she was suddenly like 15 minutes away we were like whatever it's fine whatever there was maybe there's traffic whatever the case may be so it just took a little longer for her to get there but we didn't care because it didn't seem like there were many drivers out anyway and it was downpouring this driver had great ratings she had a comment that said that she was great at making conversation so when she finally arrived and we got in the car and she said I'm so glad I just picked y'all up. We didn't think anything of it. Her ratings were good. She was good at making conversation. We figured she was just a nice person that was happy to see people. Side note, as we were getting in the car, I looked behind the car just cause like you look at my surroundings. I noticed this really cool black car. I think it was a Porsche. And I felt bad that we were like stopped in the middle of the road and they had to wait for us. So I remember looking at this car. Right after we get in, she tells us she's so glad that she just picked us up and then goes on to explain that she had been followed by that black car all all the way from the gas station that she came from and that's why it was taking so long to get to us is because she was being followed and like taking weird turns and he followed her every move. She also told us that he had said some really inappropriate stuff to her there. I'm not gonna say it because it's not safe for YouTube. This was just so disturbing what this man said to her. So anyway she starts driving us back to my friend's apartment and obviously now we don't want her to take us there because we don't want this guy to know where we were headed, where she lives. So we had her take all these different turns, we had her do quick lane changes, and he followed her every move. So yeah, we were really scared and I actually got a couple of clips of us in the car while this is happening. And all you guys know was when, she, when I got in the car, she was like, hey, somebody be following us. And it was true, every light we went to. And she even stuck her little knife out yeah. in the door. And it was like, go the f <laughs> no, this is it's That's it's true. funny, but it's so not. This it's is so scary. scary. <laughs> this is too real. But Wait, it's still funny. So we're going back to the police department right now because they want us back there. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh. I don't want to laugh right now. I'm gonna laugh know. about three days later when I'm still okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I know. Yeah. If we don't laugh right now, though, we'll cry. So you know what? <laughs> we have to. I'm we... gonna cry because I'm about to cry. No, don't uh, cry. Are you Erica? I'm like, did I say Erica before? No. Yeah, yeah, you said her, you said your Uber driver's name was Erica. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. how do they remember that? I'm like, what the heck? I have a report. Oh, that's there? true, that's true. Oh, girl, that's true. Oh my gosh. They sure are. So luckily we are smart human beings and we called the police and the police advised us that we drive to the police station. So we did. As we were pulling into the police station, the guy almost followed us in. He like slowed down as we like pulled in and then decided to keep going, but then pulled into the next parking lot. Like. Wouldn't you just drive away at that point? Like, we're at the police. You're obviously going to get in trouble if you stay around, but we're kind of thankful that he did because when we pulled in the parking lot, we quickly told the police officer that was waiting there what happened, and he drove right over the next parking lot, blocked this guy, and then before we knew it, three more cop cars showed up at this guy's car. We actually ended up pulling out of the police station and leaving once they went to him because we thought we were all set, but then they called the Uber driver's number back and told her that we needed to come back because they wanted to talk to us. Heck no, we're going, department. I guess right You're not going over there. Heck no. We were thinking, we're done, she probably wanted to get us out of her car because she was trying to get us home in the first place. You could tell that she felt really bad that this happened, but it wasn't her fault. 
at all. She was awesome. She was actually so funny and so nice. I miss her. She was <laughs> she was great. I hope she's doing well. But yeah, so we went back and we pulled back in the same spot we were in at the police station. And after a few minutes, they actually wanted us to drive over to where all the rest of the cops were. But we were scared because we didn't want this guy to see us or know what we look like or anything. So we kind of just like pulled back behind this car wash that was in that parking lot. And they just asked us for the details, asked us for our name and phone number. And we kind of just got a little report filled out. The cop asked if we wanted to press charge. Um, she said no, she just didn't want him following her anymore, which, yeah, I don't care, just leave her alone, leave us alone. The man ended up admitting that he was following us, which we all knew anyway, but he admitted it. And then we finished our route, which took an hour longer than it was supposed to. <laughs> it took a good hour and 15 minutes for us to get from Athens Bagel back to my friend Natalie's apartment. <laughs> they gave us like a 10 minute head start they said they were just gonna let us go get us home and then they were gonna let him go once we were long gone so yeah that is the time that we got followed in an uber so scary so crazy i always knew that it would you know i was gonna be safe because i knew that we would just call the police we would be okay but i just did not want this guy knowing where my friend lived i did not want him following the sweet uber driver thank you to the athens police for being so helpful with it and taking the situation so seriously but yeah that's the story thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like story time videos, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Miranda underscore 13. That's with four eyes. It's in the description box down below and in the end slate at the end of the video. All right, guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.